Let me emphasize that businesses have a primary role in driving sustainability, and that is why we are all meeting here today. The enabler, however, is the larger partnership and the understanding between India and Europe. India and the European Union believe in a multipolar global order, share a commitment to promoting effective multilateralism, and are increasingly considerate to each other's geopolitical, economic, strategic, and security concerns. Visits and exchanges at the highest level are today a regular feature between India and Europe, including at the prime minister's level. I have personally interacted with the foreign ministers of all the 27 EU member states and the high representative uh, of, the, uh, of the European Commission at least once last year. I've also met some of them actually multiple times. So a good example is there on the dais. And these interactions have contributed to the resumption of the India-EU FTA negotiations, the India-EU Trade and Technology Council, which we call the TTC, uh, the announcement of that, dialogues in areas of security and defense and human rights, and not least, a jump in bilateral trade. India is expected to be the only major economy to keep growing at well above 6% per annum in the foreseeable future, and thus will remain one of the major growth engines of the world. Now, when it comes to the green transition, Clean energy and green transition are central to the India-EU connectivity partnership. Synergies have emerged in solar and wind energy, in green hydrogen, smart grids, sustainable urban transports, especially metro projects, waste management, and the circular economy. But to sustain this cooperation, the real ask is capacity building, clean technology transfer, alignment of standards, and cooperation in critical materials. And here, let me say upfront that promoting green financing is the ignition for any long-term result-oriented outcome. India is today one of the leading countries in climate change mitigation commitments and environmental protection. Our low carbon development strategy lays out the path to a carbon neutral economy while taking into account specific development goals. We have the third biggest installed renewable energy capacity in the world. The EU is one of India's largest and most important trade partners. Our bilateral trade was in excess of US dollars 115 billion uh, in the financial year 2021-22, which is the highest ever. With the UK and other non-EU countries added, uh, I believe that uh, the number is even greater. Now, we expect the India-EU FTA will be a game changer for the India-EU relationship. We look forward to a mutually beneficial, a mutually advantageous uh, conclusion to the negotiation process uh, within a reasonably short planned timeline. India's new approach to trade agreements addresses issues of non-tariff and behind-the-borders barriers, quality, standards, and related benchmarks. With like-minded partners, we have actually demonstrated in recent years a fast-track change in our FTA negotiation processes. The FTAs with UAE and Australia were actually concluded uh, in record time.